Imagine being told you have a life-altering condition. How long would you expect to live? A year? A decade? Or could you possibly outlive those without the condition? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. And today, we're going to challenge everything you think you know about HIV. Let's start with the hard truth. HIV used to be a death sentence. But here's where it gets interesting and hopeful. The landscape has dramatically changed. So what happened and what does this mean for millions of people worldwide? First, let's talk about the game changer, antiretroviral therapy or ART. This treatment can suppress the virus to undetectable levels. But here's the crucial part. It's not just about taking medication. It's about starting early and sticking to it. Without treatment, HIV ravages the immune system, leading to AIDS in about a decade. But with ART, the virus is kept in check, allowing people to live significantly longer. This isn't just extending life, it's giving people their futures back. Now, let's break down the factors that influence HIV life expectancy. It's a complex interplay of treatment, timing, and overall health. Your CD4 count and viral load are crucial indicators of your body's fight against HIV. A high CD4 count and undetectable viral load? That is your ticket to a healthier life. But it's not all smooth sailing. HIV positive individuals face unique challenges. They are more prone to certain health issues, often experiencing them earlier than their HIV negative peers. We're talking heart disease, diabetes, kidney problems, the usual suspects of aging, but accelerated. What if I told you that for many people with HIV, it's not the virus that poses the biggest threat to their life. It's the same things that affect all of us, heart disease, cancer, liver problems. Additionally, factors like injecting drug use can significantly impact life expectancy. HIV doesn't exist in a vacuum. Your life expectancy is also influenced by factors affecting everyone. Your socioeconomic status, gender, genetics, mental health, and lifestyle choices. It's a reminder that treating HIV isn't just about managing the virus. It's about caring for the whole person. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. In high-income countries with good healthcare access, how long do you think HIV-positive individuals are living? 50s? 60s? Many are living into their 80s. That's right, 80s. It's a testament of how far we've come, but it also highlights a stark reality. Access to care can mean the difference between life and death. Studies show that with effective treatment, a 20-year-old diagnosed with HIV today can expect to live into their 70s. That's not just survival, that's a full life. But here's the kicker. Without treatment, life expectancy plummets to just 10 to 12 years post-infection. The difference is stark, and it's all about access to care and adhering to treatment. So what does all of this mean for you? If you are HIV positive, it means hope. It means that with proper care and treatment, you can live long and full life. However, if you're HIV negative, it means understanding and support. It means knowing that people with HIV are not defined by their status. And for all of us, it is a call to action. To fight stigma, to support access to treatment, to understand that HIV is a manageable condition, not a death sentence. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the realities of HIV life expectancy. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Because understanding HIV isn't just about statistics, it's about changing lives. Until next time, stay safe, folks.